I thought I'd take a little time and talk about paper because a lot of people don't realize that there's a difference between hot pressed paper and cold pressed paper or they don't know what the difference is. And it's as simple as hot pressed paper has a smooth surface. So always try to remember hot being smooth. And the cold pressed paper has a bumpy surface, it has a lot of tooth. For the most part, I use a hot press paper because I like the smooth surface because I'm often uh, doing some kind of a graphic uh, project or a stencil like this. And with a smooth surface, you'll get a, a tighter line. This paper is Arches paper. It's made in France. I get it from Jerry's Artorama. Uh, I buy 25 sheets at a time. The paper is 260 pound and it's 100% cotton rag. And for those 25 sheets, it's about $250. Now that, that will last me a little while. And what I like to do is once I get the paper, uh, it, did I mention it's 26 by 40 inches? I'll cut it to size. And I'm working at 26 by 30. And I try to always work in one specific size. And that's to make it easier for my friend who's, uh, he's my uh, framer. He has a gallery. And that makes it easy for him to swap artwork out. So if he has a client who uh, likes a painting that may not be framed, he can always remove one from the frame and just swap it out. Now the nice thing that's the nice thing about working in one size is you can also sell paintings as diptychs and triptychs. So it, it helps to sell more artwork. So often people will put three images in a row, and that's a triptych. Or you can get a four images and make a grid painting. So it's just kind of important to try to keep everything the same size. It makes it easier for you. It makes it easier for the framer. And I think it's ultimately better for business. The nice thing about this paper is you can use the frog tape. This is the green frog tape, but you can use the green or the yellow and it won't destroy the paper when you're pulling the tape off. It's uh, It just holds together real nicely. And I have less expensive notepads and if you use either of the tapes on those notepads when you go to remove the tape it'll more than likely uh, rip the paper so you still have to be careful but for the most part I can pull this tape off and it's not going to create any kind of defects on the paper about the image this is a chair if you didn't if you can't see that it's a chair it's a chair that I've taken the image simplified it and turned it into basically a very simple form. And that's because I like to have some kind of a theme where I can make a painting and not think so much about the image. So I've made this same painting on aluminum. I've made it on plexiglass and here I'm making it with spray paint and paper. And it's just an, ab an abstract form. I like chairs, I often paint and draw chairs. There's also a nice uh, connection I think between the human figure and the chair and they kind of go well together so sometimes you can have a, a painting of a chair next to a painting of a figure and in my mind it makes sense and uh, I guess that's I guess that's about it thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time